everybody this is brandon again uh here going to give a little commentary on some things uh that have really been in the news as of late and as many of you know there has been a little bit of a conversation around some of michael todd's most recent statements uh, and i think he was trying to explain the nature of god and uh some of the uh how can you say apologetic watchdogs they are just they are having a field day and i think it's died down a little bit, but it's still a lot of folks mad. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the examples that he uses uh, to explain the nature of God, which I always say most, the average pew going Trinitarian is maybe confessionally Trinitarian, but they're modalistic in their devotion, which I always think is interesting. Uh, and so the main issue you may be saying, well, what's the problem? I thought you were a oneness or you're modalist. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's the point. I'm oneness. And I agree with it. <laughs> you know, And he's calling it the Trinity. And I'm like, well, if that's the Trinity, sign me up. <laughs> I'll take it. Like, what are we arguing about? Uh, so I'm just going to uh, go over this video. We're going to give it some real time oneness Pentecostal commentary. And the reason why I'm using this as an example, because what it does is show the real problems, the doctrinal system of the Trinity is having been communicated not only to its parishioner, uh, church's parishioners, but also, I mean, you got a guy like Michael Todd, who is well known, uh, calling it this, but you know, now that I think about it, who's to say Michael Todd was a Trinitarian? Maybe he's really oneness and he's just doing what a lot of oneness people knew. I know who go to Trinitarian churches cause they just, you know, they try to get a paycheck. Uh, they call the Trinity, but they keep teaching oneness because <laughs> me and the guy we're talking like most of them, if you call it the Trinity and use modalistic examples, most people never even catch it. It's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but hey, let's play it. Remember to uh, share, rate, subscribe. Let somebody know we got an apostolic commentary going on and we're going to give this a go. Let's hit play. When the Holy Spirit shows Hopefully up, you can hear that. God's there and Jesus is there. When Jesus was on the cross, God was there and the Holy Spirit was there at creation when God was sitting there about to create let us hmm. you can't separate him you can't separate him he's everywhere right all the time well that's why I don't understand remember it's the mystery of God the next verse that was a bad intro I don't care what you say so my title is Father, Praise the Lord. And I'm Isabella, MJ, and Ava Ray, and another little baby's father. How did I get four kids, y'all? I have to stop touching on personality. But now that was that that was a little bit out of pocket. It's four no more. It's over. That, that was a little out of pocket. Like, okay, preacher. But I'm okay. a father, and my function is provider. Mm -hmm. And in my status in that household is lead servant, and my location is to be present. Wherever my kids are, I need to be a present father. Let me show you this last version. I am a husband, and I'm a husband to one woman. Right. And I need to be very clear about this, right? because I've seen some of your DMs. <laughs> Pastor Natalie is not the first lady. She's the only lady. So I need to be very Now, I just want to notice that this ain't none of my business, but perhaps maybe y'all should get a shared Instagram page. If that's a problem that you're having, especially with celebrity preachers, think ahead. You know, that sounds cute, but... Mm, Shall I mention Le John the Gray? Uh, so, you know, you, uh, you may, may want to get ahead of that if this will happen because you, you do have church groupies. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Be clear, and she got hands. So I just want to make sure and that so you're you. here for spiritual wisdom and not a problem. That's why you need to but I am use those hands to start another a page. a husband to one woman, and my function is her partner. And my status is lead servant for all my men that are out there. Can I give you a key real quick that the status, wherever you are, men of God, you're supposed to be the lead servant there. So with your wife, you're supposed to be the lead servant at your job. You're supposed to be a lead servant. That's a whole nother message for a whole nother day. But I, now, I ain't going to keep up so much, but on a low, that, that really was good, though. I'm sorry. I ain't, I'm not a big Michael Todd fan. I ain't really with all that. But that that was that was a good point. I'll teach about that a little bit later. And where my location is, is wherever Pastor Natalie is at. Let me help you. Mike the Pastor's here. You've seen Mike the Pastor. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. He's the man. Gives you a word. 
But do you know what's with me everywhere that I go? It's Mike the Father, who at the moment that I'm giving you a word, if Natalie calls me and tells me now y'all see that? that my daughter failed. Same person changing modes. Staples in her head, which actually happened this week. Mike the pastor was there, but he gone now. I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Family is my first ministry. Right. God's not gonna ask me what he what I did with transformation. You don't abandon church one role. While Natalie and my kids sitting another. over there all broke up, he's gonna say you were supposed to love her like I love the church. Then then you come and love the church. Let me stop. I don't. This, this is, is not a good a example seminar, of uh, but I need to simultaneous help modalism. So so when the when pastor father shows up, my pastor's still there. So while we're at the the emergency room getting staples in my head, the ladies take not my head in Bella's head. Y'all pray for <laughs> my daughter. That was so traumatic. But I'm sitting there. Wow. And while I was sitting there, the lady said, I love your sermons. Uh oh. See the modalism? Another mode. Another mode. Heavy on the modalism. <laughs> I love it. I mean, and then they said, we're going to have to put some staples in your daughter's head. <laughs> changing the mode. It's all in him. How many staples? Because the pastor showed up, but the daddy had to be priority. Mm. So while my daughter's sitting there and I'm holding her and she's saying, mm. daddy, no, daddy. And I'm holding her face. I'm not thinking about roles. what I'm speaking on Sunday. But mm. I showed up with the pastor. And when my wife when we get home that night, she's in the bed and she begins to cry because the baby's keeping her up. Mm. And she's feeling bad for Bella and MJ having insomnia. I do not bring. Now, well, you know what the word says? This is really good information for ministers who don't know how to make a difference. I, I will say that is good practical advice. I really do agree. Some of y'all don't know when to bring out all of you. You just need to have crazy faith. I would <laughs> look. <laughs> say that you want to. Well, my wife needs crazy me. single. H husband Michael held her all night. Husband mm, Michael, same person. Rubbed her feet. Same person though. Same what person. What I'm saying to you is just like the Godhead. Mm. When one person of me shows up, right, the other two are there too. I agree. I can't separate the father mm. from the leader Amen. to the husband. Amen. So when I show up, you might get a different version. The father in Christ. Get you understand? Me. Now, that's a pretty good illustration. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to use Holy that. The Spirit shows up. God's there mm -hmm. and Jesus is there. When Jesus was on the cross, God was there. That's right. And the Holy Spirit. God was in Christ creation, reconciling God the world. God was sitting there about to create. Let us. You can't separate him. He's everywhere. All the time. Well, Pastor, I don't understand. Remember, it's the mystery, mystery of God. You know. As one of people, we need to start using that, you know, and I, and I just had a weird thought because, you know, usually when you talk a lot of Trinitarians, they're like, well, you know, the three and the one, it's the mystery, the perichoretic functions of the Godhead. You know, I think we need to start saying mystery more. Why why are we letting them use mystery all the time for stuff just because they didn't want to deal with the, the conflicts? I'm going to start appealing to mystery more. Why not? They doing it. <laughs> heard a couple of people in their spirit. You know how Jesus sometimes like, I heard what they were thinking. Let me give you Bible on this. I'm going to show you through scripture. Show us. Where we see Jesus, yeah. the Father God, and the Holy Spirit all at the same verse. Look at John 14, 16. And I, that's Jesus, mm -hmm. highlight these in your Bible so that you can be able to be sure and assured that the Holy Spirit is God. It says, and I, Jesus, will pray to the Father mm -hmm. and he will give you another helper. That's the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and he, that you may abide with him forever. That's all three of them in one verse. Let me give right. you another one. John 14, 26, but the helper, that's mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, whom the Father, that's God, will send in my name. That's Jesus's name. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance 
reference all things that I said. That's all of them in one verse. Let's go to right. another one. John 15, 26. It says, but the helper, that's the Holy Spirit, comes um, when he comes, whom I, Jesus, shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father. He will testify of me. And just for those who are a little skeptical and you're like, but they're not all at the same place at the same time. I'm glad you asked for that. Because when Jesus was baptized, uh -huh. he's getting baptized by John in Luke chapter 3, verse 22. And it says, and the Holy Spirit Holy Ghost. descended in bodily form. Yes. Talk about the mysteries of God. People say he, he, he descended like a dove. Yeah, yeah. Or it was a dove. He wasn't a dove. It said he descended in bodily form. Mm -hmm. What does the Holy Spirit look like in a body? Like a dove upon him, Jesus. And the voice came from heaven, which said, you are my beloved son. That's the father talking. And whom I am well pleased. God is always three in one. And the Trinity defers to each other. Mm. The son tells the Holy tells us that the Holy now, this Spirit is where is coming, it's getting a little bit um, the upgrade and the Holy Spirit. Modal, you to he's, the son. he's trying to guess, get a little bit they more Trinitarian. Always, you talk about the big three. And, 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 and at this point, I can see more of a distinct separation of persons. Wade, but LeBron. Now, and this Chris part Rock? of the message is definitely Trinitarian. But up to this point, it's been modal. Was, was Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce and uh, uh, what's his name? And Rondo? Now, I just want to show this to you. So it's kind of like he goes from, I guess, what the quote-unquote orthodox theological world would say, one extreme to the other. He's modeless on this side. But then over here, he uses a tritheistic uh, example. Was it Greg of Nancy Anzis uh, who said, who uh, compared the Trinity to like three people, three human beings, a uh, human race that they share? You know, I guess you get into the conversation of communicable uh, attributes. But the issue, uh, if those are three separate people and God, uh, three separate human beings, those three, those three separate persons are three separate human beings who have a homoousius, not homoousius, not the same essence. So he goes from an example I like early, which is a modalism example, to at the latter end to a tritheistic example. Wow. Let's watch. Y'all thought the big three was what these ten? No, no, no. The original big three is mm. God the Father, God the Son. And God, the Holy Spirit's all Holy equal, Ghost. but we'll dunk on you in a second. Friends, no matter yeah. what trouble you're facing today. So this is this is the state of modern Trinitarianism. Usually when you find a Trinitarian today, like most of them are oneness and they don't know it. But either you get the ones who, who call themselves Trinitarian, but they're really oneness. Or you get the ones who are so Trinitarian, like they're aggressively rude, just like I don't, I don't, I'm militantly Trinitarian, you know. But this is interesting. And you know, the, the 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 interesting part is a lot of people agree with this example. I'm oneness. I love this example. I'm I'm actually sitting here right now trying to figure out how in the world can I get a big life size picture of myself so I can flip it around in different stances. Because uh, that's a fire oneness example. I'm sorry, I love it. Now, I know the apologists may not like it, but again, I mean, I like it. I'm a modalist. I mean, <laughs> what, you, I mean what you want? I'm, it is what it is. So I think this is interesting. And again, some try to say, well, he just doesn't understand the Trinity. He doesn't understand the Trinity. He doesn't know what it is. Who said he doesn't understand the Trinity? Who said he was a Trinitarian? Because you must remember some of the first uh, Trinitarian controversies or better yet, one the one way that some have classified modalism as a uh, as trin as a form of trinitarianism, trinitarian modalistic uh, monarchianism. Uh, so you know it's interesting. People say, well, he don't know what it is. No, just think maybe he does, and maybe he's just not a trinitarian. But you know, I just want to go over that because I thought this is very interesting because it just goes to show uh, you only get in trouble when you come out and just write forward and just say what you are. But remember, it's the whole gospel, the whole world. Share, uh, subscribe, let somebody know. We're having apostolic social conversations. Uh, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.